All right, finally, you're gonna focus on me now, Cam. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. It's been a while since I talked about a little bit of anime stuff. So the first thing I actually wanted to talk about is what I'm actually watching this pretty much season. And I guess I well, I can't really talk about what I'm gonna be watching next season because I'm not really sure because I'm kind of picky when it comes to it. But the main animes I've been watching are just like six of them. But the first one is Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga is, has been really damn good, to be honest. Personally, because it's a revenge anime. So basically, a little small synopsis just to get you guys a little bit interested is... <sighs> damn, how do I say this without spoiling too much? Damn, Vinland, Vinland cannot be spoiled without saying anything. Especially for those who don't read mangas like me. I, I and it's just like I'll go back and forth with like manga rarely and then I would watch animes mostly just because I like to see the action you know the course is always going to be better in your head than the actual like animation just because you thought of how the battle was going you it's already in your head of how you're seeing everything but anyway Vinland Saga let's just say is basically a certain character getting revenge for the death of another character which I'm not gonna you know expose who it could be it could be any random character up to your um imagination when you watch it it's actually pretty good I I definitely recommend it for anybody who likes the whole viking back in the day type of you know wars and everything it's actually not that bad and I recommend you guys don't sleep on this one it's actually pretty good at first I thought it was like yeah, it couldn't possibly be too good after the first episode where, you know, all the hype was put into it. You know, it kind of started off a little bit slow, but then it started to, like, hook you after a while. And, you know, it's definitely not an anime you want to sleep on. It's actually pretty damn good if you like revenge-type animes. You know, blood, gore, fighting, wars, stuff like that. Uh, the next one is Fire Force, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people have already watched. That's for sure. Fire Force, oh my god. Its animations are actually pretty insane. And every last episode, it doesn't downgrade. It just stays it stays at the same level of hype, or even more hype, every time. And that's something I like. Dedication to the animations. You know, the fight scenes are just freaking top notch. To the point where you just like, dude, I'm gonna keep watching this. You know? It's, it has a pretty decent story to it as well, you know? Just, ah, I, I don't, I don't want to ruin too much of it, but I'm just saying, dude, the fight, the fighting scenes are amazing. Let's just basically say... Basically, firefighters that use actual fire to fight fire demons. That's probably going to be confusing as hell, but that's all I'm giving you. Next! Is Demon Slayer. Oh my god, Demon Slayer has also been on it as well. Demon Slayer has been freaking amazing actually. I'm pretty sure most of you guys will hear about Demon Slayer and some of you guys will probably really enjoy it. Trust me, it's basically like, um, what, what's the typical way to say this? Samurai ex Exorcist? <laughs> Now that I think about it, there's been a lot of Samurai X type of animes. Now, let's say, uh, I can only say Samurai X, but, you know, let's just, you know what, let's just say Samurai Demon Hunters instead, you know, instead of Exorcist, because they're basically Demon Hunters. I don't know where I got Exorcist from, don't, don't ask. Anyway. <laughs> This anime has been pretty amazing so far, and I definitely highly recommend it. Its progression and just the whole style of it is amazing. At, at first, it comes off like a little bit iffy because they start using CGI a little bit in there. It, it's just a tiny bit. It's not going to ruin too much of it. But they never use it in fighting scenes, which I'm happy about because you, we all know the whole Baki situation. Where Baki was getting, you know, pretty damn good, then they threw in a CGI fight. And then it went all downhill from there. I mean, we they did the same thing for uh, fucking Berserk. 
and they made a whole season of CGI Berserk and a lot of people didn't just couldn't stick with it, you know? And I, I definitely knew I couldn't. I, I skipped it. I, I will stick with the original old cartoon version and just watch my way through the original instead of that abomination of whatever the hell that was, okay? The next anime is Black Clover. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people have probably dropped Black Clover just because of Asta. Ah, the yelling man himself, screaming from the top of his lungs, just so everybody could hear him from the heavens. All the way to hell. That's exactly where that man came from. From hell. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. Black Clover, if you can get past Asa's yelling, it is actually pretty amazing. I will not lie to you. But, I mean, now and then we had a little bit of, you know, art malfunctions uh, aka a certain form debut and boy <laughs> um i'm pretty sure we all know the nightmare of the certain form that was you know introduced into you know brought out to the lights you know or the darkness you know whichever one you want to go with once you get past that episode and you'll know what episode I'm talking about. Oh my god, episode 100. Fucking major boner right now. I'm just saying. Like, it's actually getting way more exciting. Because, you know, it's kind of getting to its height point. You're kind of wondering, where is the height point? Well, most anime watchers are like, where is the height point? Will this be the main villain? And will it be done from here? Will there be another villain that comes into play? How long will Black Clover go? I hope it keeps going. I want it to be One Piece long. Okay, that didn't sound right coming from my mouth because we all know how long One Piece is. That that motherfucker is going on to a thousand episodes real soon. I'm pretty sure they're gonna go to a thousand episodes and just do probably some kind of finale or something or just keep going past those thousand episodes and do they just keep that throne of the longest anime ever running but the one of the best animes that are still going on trust me once you get it past a couple of those seasons you will not regret a single moment of binge watching the shit out of that trust me it i'm, I'm just saying i'm just saying you guys gotta trust me on this list dude you got you guys gotta watch some of this stuff okay 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 I have no idea why Asta still reminds me of like Rave Master. Am I the only one who got Rave Master like vibes when they first saw like Black Clover's like whole art? Right? No? I'm the only person who got the Rave Master vibes? Oh, okay. Well, fuck me. Alright, the next anime is um... I'm not even gonna pronounce the first word because you know who flicked it. Uh, basically, it's called From Commonplace to World's Strongest. This one's weird. This this one's weird. It's, it's sort of like a interesting, starts off interesting, then sort of hits like a great comedy phase. And I find it funny. Real funny. If you want lolly vampires, lewd bunnies, extremely lewd dragon anal... I, th I think that's all I have to say to be honest there's th there's nothing more to say about this anime but if you like funny go for it I mean it's n it's nothing like extremely special okay it's nothing like it's nothing like let's say fire force like combat there's nothing like you know top of the world but I do like the main character just because he's more of a douche, but he's kind of a nice guy on the side sometimes, but he's more of doesn't give a fuck. But yet, ah, man, he, he's just, I like characters that literally don't care and follow their own purpose. Purpose. Did, what did I say? Purpose? Purples? We're going to edit that out. Well, most of you guys know I don't really have a favorite superhero, 
but I figured out that I did have a favorite hero, superhero, and I still do, and that's Damian Wayne. Damian is still my favorite superhero of all time, just because he, he's an asshole. <laughs> and he, you know, has that I don't care attitude. Most characters like that I really enjoy, just because they have more unpredictable emotions and more unpredictable actions, you know? And this one, main character, you know, likes the, the, the vampire lolly. I mean, obviously, she's she's like over a thousand years old, more than likely. But you know, you, people are always gonna jump on that. Oh my god, train! But but anywho, this is definitely a pretty decent anime to watch. It has a Caesar, it has its serious moments, and it has its you know comedy moments and fan service, green fan service from a certain lizard creature. But the last anime that I've actually been watching is it wrong to try and pick up girls in a dungeon season two left off from season one where season one where we all know he became a badass and it cuts off it I've been pissed ever since then we get a season two and I'm kind of happy and I'm kind of still triggered at the same time because you know Belle Ooh, oh boy. I, I love Belle. I love my boy Belle, but you know, I'm gonna start ringing this bell real soon by choking his neck if he doesn't get his butt into gear, man. Supposed to be acting like a real hero ever since first season, but you know, my man has not learned yet, which he will. Give him time. It's still 12 episodes, so you know, we don't know if we're gonna get a season 3, but yeah. I mean... All I can just say is rip Hermes um, dignity in that season like that man oh boy Amazon women are something else <laughs> but yeah if you guys have already seen my meme that I posted in the community tab like a couple of days ago you understand for those who are already watched it's not exactly straight up what you think it is but you know for those of us who have watched it is exactly what you think it is you know but yeah those have been the animes that i've been watching pretty much this summer season i i guess it's yeah pretty much summer season fall seasons whichever ones that are this season the next season is coming up soon which you're gonna have a lot of animes and i guess i'll put up a video of what animes i'm actually probably gonna check out and then I'll just make another one of what I'm watching from like episode one or episode two. Who knows? Why am I talking like this? Oh. But yeah. All in all, I am having a lot of fun with the season. I mean, even though all of my animes come at the end of the week, you know, from freaking Friday to Saturday, then it goes around and then I have nothing to watch on Thursday, so. I'm bored doing nothing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, overall, that's all I'm watching this season. Let me know what you guys are watching this season down in the description or what you guys have been watching. But let me know how you guys feel about everything that I've talked about, you know? With that said, he's out. You guys have a good one.